Hello, my name is Matthew Goldman. I'm in Corporate Engineering at Sinclair Broadcast Group. I'm here today to talk about launching the broadcast app through a variety of mechanisms to reach the maximum number of viewers that have next-gen televisions. So what we have here are two displays. The display on the left here is receiving an existing television broadcast signal that's being fed through a multi-program video distributor, MVPD. In, uh, in this case, it's a cable company. So it's received off the air and being delivered to a set-top box through the HDMI input on the back of the television. The television over here is an off-the-air signal in the new next-gen ATSC 3.0 broadcast signal. So that's why you'll see a little bit of a delay here as this goes through an MVPD. The broadcast application is one of the exciting new features that you receive through the next-gen television broadcasting standard that is being delivered over the air now. One of the nice features of the broadcast app is that it's an interactive application where the user has access to additional content that normally would not be delivered through the broadcast signal itself today. Instead, a localized app is downloaded when the channel is tuned to, and then from there, an L-bar uh, situation comes up where just like you would click on your normal display uh, if you're using a computer, you can pick which application you would like to have. It's launched from the television very simply through what is known as a call to action on the remote. Now, there are two different mechanisms that we're going to be showing today. What we'll be showing on this TV is the reception of the broadcast application through the service layer signaling that is in band, receiving what is known as the held, the HTML entry point location description. It sees that in the service layer signaling and then it automatically will fetch the broadcast application from the ser uh, server and the signal that is present in that stream. And that brings the broadcast app up. But what if you're not receiving the signal over the air in 3.0? We want to be able to reach everyone that has a new next generation television that can handle the new interactive broadcast services provided by the standard. In this case, would you receive it through a set-top box through an MVPD, in this case a cable set-top box, then we need to be able to deliver it in another mechanism because the 3.0 signaling does not pass through the set-top box. In this case, we use a, a watermark in the audio signal that is not audible, but yet it delivers the same information that's in the hell that we just described. Now, the user doesn't know the difference because it's launched the same way. I'm going to show you. Both of these TVs are from the same manufacturer. I'm going to use a common remote to do this. You launch the app. As you can see in the screen here, it says press right for more. And when you click on the app, that just the right arrow, you can see it instantly launches the broadcast app, which shows as an L bar on the TVs. As far as the consumer is concerned, or the viewer, it's the same application both places. But in the case over here, it's through the HTMI input or 1.0 over the air signal, which is not 3.0 based. As long as it's a next gen TV, it can do the interactive app. Where in this case over here, this is a standard signal for doing that. So the exciting thing about using the watermark is now, regardless of how you receive your television signal to a next generation TV, you're able to get access to the broadcast app and all the features it provides. And as you can see on here, we get weather, we can get local news, we have alerts such as the new um, advanced emergency information that's very localized to your area. And these can be on-demand apps where you can actually interact with the applications that you see here. On the bottom of this band, you see one tile here, which is stir radio channels. But in actuality, this whole band could be filled up with different apps and applications that you can use and launch. Thank you very much.